Right, so we said in this video we are going to discuss problems of linear regression models, right? So let's discuss the first problem. Problem number one. And that is the nonlinearity of the data. I should have said some of the things we have already discussed, but uh, let's just deal with the problems in one section like this. Nonlinearity -linear, non of the data. So, we said linear models, they assume straight relationships between predictor and response. If the true relationship is far from linear, then all conclusions that we draw from the fit are going to be wrong. They, are, they might be wrong. The chances are high that they are wrong if we use a linear model, right? Because usually, in real life, models, in real life, it's very rare to come across linear um linear relationship between predictor and um, and the what you call this and the responses right how do we identify that there's non-linearity in the data what we can do is use something called the uh, something called residual plots residual plots very simply um it just you, you you let's say in simple simple in simple linear regression residual plots are created by plotting your residual you remember your ei is your residual yi minus the estimate so the actual minus the estimate versus versus xi which is your predictor value that is simple in linear regression and then in multiple linear regression you do your residual which is your ei um versus the one you have predicted versus your yi and this is so this is the case in multiple linear regression in simple linear regression it's ei versus your xi multiple ei versus yi so we want to we want the plot to show no pattern we want the short the 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 plot to show no pattern because presence of a pattern may indicate a problem with some aspect of the linear model it means our linear model is not really accounting for uh, the variability in the data we might need to start using a non-linear model right so to just give you an example of what you might see what you might see is something like this and something like this when you plot when you plot your residuals versus your non-residuals uh, no, no, versus your, I'm saying none versus yours. Better your versus your fitted values. Fitted values. So this is like in multiple linear regression, and this is going to be your residuals. Can you see there's a clear pattern there? There's a clear pattern, right? So let's say this is the zero line. If this is the zero line here um, for zero residuals, you might see that there's a clear pattern here, right? And if there's a clear pattern, it means that mm, there's something going on in the data. There's something going on in the data that we might need to use non-linearity or non-linear models, right? This is the case for when you regress uh, MPG, when you regress MPG on just horsepower. You can try it. Regress MPG on horsepower and then fit it and then plot the residual versus the fitted values. Versus the fitted values, right? Without doing, without using the non-linear term, you will see there is going to be a, a U-shape like this. Uh, so that U-shape is a clear indication that there is non-linearity in the data, right? So a pattern, a pattern will indicate non-linearity in the data. So now, when you include what's power squared, you're probably going to see when you plot it again you're going to see something like this yeah something like that there is no discernible pattern there there's no it's just slanted so you think there's a straight line that is not it's actually horizontal that line at, at zero it's, it's, there's no really discernible pattern if there's no discernible pattern then it means you have taken care of the non-linearity or in your data there's no non-linearity at all right um, and one trick is if there is a pattern in the residual plot, one can use nonlinear transformations of the predictors, such as you can do log of x, you can do x squared, you can do root of x. We we saw this with the was power squared, right? Was power squared. 
So depending on your data, what's power squared? Depending on the data, you can do square root of x, you can do log of x to, to, to introduce that non-linearity term, right? Just so, sorry, to be honest, these problems are solved by practicing, practicing and just getting a feel of your data, right? So you have to do try and error. There's no sign. I haven't come across in my studies. I haven't come across any scientific way of knowing should I use log x or square root of x. You have to play around with how to introduce non-linearity to give you good results. To give you good results, right? Cool. So that is the first problem. In the next video, we are going to discuss the second problem.